Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Jesus proclaimed the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. It happened that there was a man full of leprosy in one of the towns where Jesus was. And when he saw Jesus, he fell prostrate, pleaded with him, and said, Lord, if you wish, you can make me clean. Jesus stretched out his hand, touched him, and said, I do will it. Be made clean. And the leprosy left him immediately. Then he ordered him not to tell anyone, but Go show yourself to the priest and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. The report about him spread all the more. And great crowds assembled to listen to him, to be cured of their ailments. But he would withdraw, but he would withdraw to deserted places to pray. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we uh, really begin our meditation in St. John's uh, letter, uh, we hear the, the testimony that God has given us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. And whoever possesses the Son has life, and whoever does not possess the Son of God does not have life. Well, I have to admit, when I was at uh, prayer uh, this morning and really coming off of the bishop's retreat, uh, it's, it's, uh, there's a certain sensitivity that, that happens when we have spent time in prayer and when we have been listening to God. Uh, and... Uh, this morning and morning prayer was one of those moments um, that as we kind of enter into the gospel the leper met Jesus Jesus was with him now when we I say that it, it, it sounds simple but it's really about us in the end that Jesus is with us right now and that the Jesus that cured the leper is the same Jesus that is with us right now. And knowing that and experiencing that is quite life-changing. It's a quite an amazing uh, experience and it's an amazing uh, thought of faith, if you will. Um, and it changes everything. It changes everything. So the leper's life, of course, was changed. But St. John is telling us in the first reading that if we have Jesus, we have eternal life. So if we have Jesus, we have been touched by eternal life. Wow. Let's take that into the Eucharist as we receive his body and his blood. <laughs> 